Hello and welcome to Soul Connections in Separation. Before we get into, to, into today's reading, I would like to have a quick chat with you all, especially anyone who has been with me for a while and has found themselves like really resonating with this journey that these readings have taken us on over the last few months. Some people do seem to get rather aggressive in the comments if I don't just get straight into the cards, however, so I have included a timestamp for anyone that would like to skip this part, that's fine. Firstly, thank you for being so understanding that I took a week off last week. Thank you for your supportive and kind comments. I decided not to read last week, of course, yes, to spend some much needed time with my family, but also because I really have sensed a shift in the collective that I've been tapping into and honestly kind of felt as though, at least for a lot of you, you, you didn't really need a reading last week. And this was even confirmed by some of you in the comments. So again, thank you for that confirmation. What I would like to ask from you is that you tell me how you feel best we should proceed with these readings moving ahead. Bearing in mind this collective shift, which seems to have been a noticeable focus onto the self and a move away from being concerned with how your person feels or what they're thinking or what they're going through, that kind of stuff. I will carry on with the usual format for today but I really feel that some adjustments need to be made here because clearly so much progress has been made in the collective. So I'm asking you, how much focus would you like to be on your person? Right now, I do like roughly two thirds of the focus is on them and one third on you. Would you prefer this more of a 50-50 split? or more you, less them, or should I stop with the messages entirely, at least for now, and focus solely on you and your journey? Obviously, people will have different viewpoints on that, and I will take like the general consensus in, into mind here, but please do drop me a comment. Give me an idea of where you are at energetically and what you believe would be the most beneficial for you. I'd really appreciate your feedback on this. I feel we're kind of all in this together and I really want you guys to get the most out of this and I need to be kind of going along with the journey that we're on, not just kind of plowing on ahead with the same old tired format when clearly the collective has progressed. Okay, thank you for taking a moment to listen. Let's get into your reading. The link to the extended is in the description and if you want to check that out you can. I have availability for private readings for January and February which are $40 for approximately a 30 minute video. Email me on window to the soul tarot at outlook.com to book a slot. As usual, we allow the cards to guide us in this reading. I have my questions written down, so let's see what it is Spirit would like us to explore within this connection today, please. For your person, we have the Queen of Coins and the Queen of Cups. Wow, very queenly energies. And for you, the Devil. Ooh, wow, okay fascinating okay for the extended your person the two of spears the fool and for you in the extended the lovers of course let me just get my questions here i have them all written down so i can let you know what these are so the queen of coins or the queen of pentacles we are asking what else is taking their attention away from this connection. The Queen of Cups here, what is their intuition trying to tell them? And then for you here, the devil, what are you negatively attached to, which in turn will it be an exploration in what it is you need to release. For the extended, just so everybody knows, for your person, I will be asking what choices is your person making? I'll be asking what new beginnings are opening up 
for your person and then for you I will be asking how do you feel about this connection right now and why is it important but for now obviously we'll put those to one side and we will very much be focusing on the first section here this queen of coins or this queen of pentacles I'm just going to pause the video for a moment and make a note of all the questions and I'll be right back okay so what else is taking away your person's attention from this connection right now which of course does indeed suggest something is taking away your person's attention from this connection is this external influences that they can't really do much about or is this something internal I'm afraid you have moved on with someone else okay that gives us a really good indication I feel they feel you've moved on so they're just trying to be kind of pragmatic about this in the way that the Queen of Pentacles would be well that sucks I guess I need to start moving on to them um, that's the way they seem to be viewing this right now this one the company I keep is not for my highest good okay well they are certainly connecting with other people perhaps in many different ways here however but that is also a distraction clearly what else do we have please I achieved what I thought I wanted and I'm still not happy hmm okay I wonder what they thought would bring them happiness that will be an interesting one to explore and one more please here for the Queen of Coins or the Queen of Pentacles here what else is taking away their attention looks like they might be still trying to plow on there with what it is they thought they wanted um, in 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 spite of the fact it's clearly not making them happy if they're not really quite recognized that this is not really working are we doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results that kind of feels where your person seems to be at right now I'm at peace I feel that's utter rubbish I, I really do I just I, and I think the cards are going to make it very clear that that's as we would say in England a load of poppycock <laughs> I get a lot of um, people finding my English vernacular rather amusing um, shenanigans poppycock plow on all sorts of crazy stuff we come up out with over here let's nail this down with an oracle just get a bit of a theme for where we're going here and then we'll really start getting into these so we're still looking at what else is taking away this person's attention from this connection I feel that's happening for you as well of course it will be for different reasons yin now this is a very feminine energy and of course your person has two queens in their overall energy here as well so I do think your person is being kind of passive um, trying to listen to their intuition perhaps um, recognizing a few things but there's like a composure a composure um, a sincerity a present feminine graceful energy here I don't think that means however that your person's taking all that much action at least for the time that you've tapped into clicking on this video of course these videos are all timeless and um, if you are new to these readings 
and this one doesn't seem to be quite where you're at it might do well for you to get into the playlist and go right back to the very beginning and see how this journey progresses for you we're all at different stages and it really does depend you know if you see a particular thumbnail somebody i think i posted a thumbnail with butterflies on a couple of weeks ago and somebody in the comments said that that thumbnail was their sign to click on the video um i pick whatever just feels right as far as uh, an image goes so if that resonates for you in some way that is the video for you to be clicking on i'm afraid you have moved on with somebody else i think this is actually really really clear in terms of what's you know they, they feel like they really have no choice but to turn their attention elsewhere because they very much seem to be in the the understanding here that you have indeed moved on if you've given them cause to believe that or if they just feel it energetically i don't think you've moved on in terms of you've stopped caring for this person i just feel that you have transcended this desire for a physical person it, you've you've kind of got into this space or at least this is the the way the collective seems to have been going that we've got to this place now where we just feel this is so much bigger than a romantic connection there's so much more for you to personally gain from what it is you're learning here and the journey you're on um let's have a look we've got the seven of cups yeah this person perhaps they don't feel that you'll necessarily have someone else as in a particular person they may believe you are exploring your options and um, they very much feel that you perhaps are connecting with not just one but maybe two three maybe more people perhaps you're rather popular right now you're getting a lot of attention right now i think they see that or they feel that energetically the seven of cups venus and scorpio it's very much a card of being among many other things of course jealousy i feel your person is feeling a little snubbed right now are you ignoring them have you pulled back do you seem to be more interested in investing your time and energy in other people and other connections there's absolutely jealousy here but it's more like they just don't feel they've got a choice if you've clearly moved on well i have to move on too then that's kind of tit for tat kind of energy here going on um the company i keep is not for my highest good this has come up a few times within these collective readings that we've been doing the four of swords and the four of cups well i've got two fours here well wow, there's an absolute rejection here this person that you're dealing with is kind of fed up to the back teeth of the low vibe people that they've been surrounding themselves with they want to pull away and um, they feel they there's like this need for a retreat or like a self-imposed exile or time out here there's absolutely and utterly a rejection perhaps even a disgust or a version of what these people represent what is being presented what is being offered to them here they don't want this anymore okay whereas before i've seen your person kind of relishing in that low vibe behavior this is an absolute turning their back on it and wanting nothing to do with it anymore a rejection of it this is not that they are unconsciously hanging out with people that are not for their highest good now they see it they know that the company they keep is not for their highest good this is conscious awareness of that fact and i think that kind of that's that plays into a challenge here because if they feel you've moved on with someone else and that's what they're trying to do and then they identify that the people they're trying to move on with are not for their highest good where does that leave them it leaves them alone meditative contemplating and up in their own thoughts here alone rejecting what is being offered but not necessarily being offered what it is they would like to accept okay I achieved what I thought I wanted and I'm still not happy what's this all about the king of wands yeah this is some, okay so whatever they did they thought they would win 
um, we've had this kind of hero complex come up a few times as well, kind of wanting to please everybody, wanting everyone to think the, they're the guy or they're the girl or they're the greatest or they're awesome. A little bit of hero worship going on here. Um, they want to be recognised. They want to be successful. They want to be achieved. They want people to kind of look up to them and think, wow, I don't think that's happening. I think that's the point. I don't think their efforts are being acknowledged or recognised. And I think it's left them feeling rather meh. Yeah. I know that's not necessarily the most spiritual word I could think of at this moment of time, but just, oh, okay. I guess no one's bothered. I guess no one cares. Uh, well, damn. You know, I think they've been trying very hard to impress, but nobody seems to be really impressed. And it's left them a little jaded, a little, like, what's the point? I'm at peace. I don't believe it. I, I don't believe it. Maybe they are. Let's see what the cards say. Ten of Wands. Oh, I see. Ah, this makes sense. They're not at peace, but they're starting to figure out what they need to do to achieve it. Okay, the Ten of Wands, Saturn in Sagittarius, releasing the burden, putting down the heavy load. Um, feeling like they don't have to kind of do it all themselves here. I think... This person's in a place of vulnerability and they're, okay, yeah, that's so they're making a decision here, the two of swords. They kind of, they're recognising it's kind of okay to reach out and ask for help and support. Um, this is, what I'm getting, what's coming across really strongly here is they're kind of recognising how hard this must have been for you. Because it's, kind of their turn now and I think it's the challenges and the burdens the weight of this is it, it is this is praying playing weighing heavily on your person's mind here this whole connection everything that's gone on the choices that they've made the pulling away you pulling away them pulling away everything up to this point the whole shebang is weighing very heavily on their mind and what they're doing is they're kind of thinking wow everything i'm going through now is that what my person was going through as in you the kind of thinking this is what you did this is the place you were at these are the challenges and the burdens that you had to contend with and now it's their turn they're able to kind of now they're taking a few steps in your shoes it's giving them the ability to really understand what it must have felt like to have been in your shoes. It's giving them a whole new perspective that there is essentially two sides to this story. And they are just being far more sympathetic about your part in all of this. Because now they are walking in your shoes. You are a couple of miles ahead down the road, right? But now they're following in your footsteps and they recognise the challenges. They want to be at peace with it. I think they are seeing you, as I said, a couple of miles ahead down the road there. And, and I think you are actually at peace. And they're wondering if they get through the this burden, this challenge, maybe take the blindfold off and just recognise what is this journey that they are, they are now embarking on, that they might eventually at some point reach that level of peace that you seem to have magically arrived at. And it's a very graceful present. It's a nice energy that they're in, actually. It's not without its challenges. Um, so in a sense, it is at peace in terms of you can be unhappy, you can be experiencing challenging times in your life, but still find that level of peace within that because you're not resisting the pain or the challenges. You're not pushing them away, what resists persists and all of that. No, it's acceptance that, okay, this is hard right now. What do I need to do about it? Um, and just kind of accepting this portion of their journey is hard. Um, lots of contemplative, meditative 
energy as well kind of beautiful kind of nice actually um i mean you've done it i i sincerely believe the people that are watching this have, have absolutely been through exactly what your person's going through right now in this moment okay so let's switch these up queen of cups so we're still on this feminine queenly energy here so we're asking what is their intuition trying to tell them and i'll get a lenormand card for this first just to go along with this queen here in terms of how we can tap into what is intuitively being kind of offered or presented to your person right now what are they feeling inside and then we'll get some messages yeah they're really really taking a deep hard look aren't they really really taking a good hard look taking the time to really pay attention to what their intuition is telling them looking at the small details here this is a very micro vision rather than this just looking at the whole big picture this is really honing in on the nuances and the, the smaller details and listening very acutely to their intuition what is their intuition telling them then i'm trying to learn how to respect your boundaries interesting i'm holding on to the love we had ah which is exactly what this beautiful lady does it's the Sansa Stark in the Game of Thrones deck. But the Queen of Cups, she quite literally holds on to that cup, doesn't she? She keeps a lid on it. She keeps a lid on her emotions. But she kind of has the heart of the issue in her hand, ready and available to explore when the time is right. She quite literally holds on to that cup of love. Beautiful. Wow, I crave your touch. This is yearning. Their intuition is crying out for them to physically be with you. <laughs> I have reconciliation in mind. Okay. Let's get some cards on these. What kind of boundaries have you set? I'm trying to learn how to respect your boundaries. Um, if you are what we refer to as divine feminine, which absolutely most of you will be, whether you're male or female, um, please don't get that twisted. I refer to the people watching these videos as divine feminine, not because I assume you're all ladies. A man can be divine feminine. It really the, the term divine feminine is, is is terrible. It's a bad label because it comes with all sorts of connotations that are entirely incorrect. It's negative and positive polarities. Um, it's yin and yang. And if you are divine feminine, I'll use the label because it's kind of the most obviously recognizable labels, then I would guess that that would have been a challenge for you to to set boundaries in this way. You might be what we refer to in the twin flame community as the chaser. Um, that one of your lessons as divine feminine is healthy boundaries. Um, how is it that we can unconditionally love somebody, but in the same breath, recognize that that does not mean accepting all negative bad behaviors that are detrimental to ourselves how how do we do both that is a less it's, it's completely achievable but that is one of the lessons and it's all about how it is we set healthy boundaries so if you have gone ahead and set some healthy boundaries please do let me know in the comments again that's another indication of kind of where you're at here perhaps your person 
recognises that some boundaries should be set. I do feel you are off. Honestly, I feel you're on the same path. You're on the same journey, but as I said, you are like two or three miles ahead down the road. And this person is sort of looking around, wondering where on earth you've gone. You haven't gone anywhere. But that's not necessarily the way they see this. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is a kind of cooperation and teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? It's a kind of playing the long game. It's kind of big picture thinking, which is not what we discussed with this, which is homing in on the details here. Um, I think they're trying to pull back and look at the whole picture here, but then looking, then kind of magnifying back in, homing back into the, the smaller details here. They want to work together with you. I think this is very much a desire to for them to understand exactly what your boundaries are. I think it's not clear. I don't think there are necessarily, perhaps you have made some clear boundaries and they've not really <laughs> read the room um, effectively. Perhaps you haven't. I feel that there's a desire here to kind of, I'm hearing like, a list of rules like ground rules um, of what is okay and what is not okay and I think they would like to get kind of detailed and specific with that um, I'm not suggesting they're going to be knocking up a PowerPoint and sending it to you anytime soon but that's kind of the energy it's kind of pragmatic like okay <clears throat> ground rules rule one we need to be expressing how much we care about each other so nobody's playing a guessing game or we can't do that right now because it's confusing whatever rule two um i want to have a video call with you every friday afternoon at 3 p.m and so i'm because we normally speak to each other on those days so i don't want to be guessing or worrying will he reach out will is he going to forget i want that to be like a definite arrangement and, and that's probably obviously very very specific but it's that kind of thing it's real. it is specific i can't tell you what the specifics are but i can tell you they want to be specific here about what is okay and what is not okay. It kind of feels like they would like to understand exactly what your boundaries are. I don't think they're fully sure. But intuitively, coming back to the intuition here, they know that they need to be respecting that. It's an establishment, trying to establish what it actually is that they need to be respecting i'm holding on to the love we had very much a queen of cups energy here queen of wands beautiful wow reciprocity equal give and take oh okay six of pentacles two of pentacles the moon in taurus and venus in capricorn here and that beautiful beautiful Queen of Wands, more intuition here. Um, this is this is kind of nice. What I'm seeing here is they thoroughly believe, despite all the insecurities, all the doubts, all the fear, all the stood in your dust, wondering where the hell you've gone, what's going on, not fully understanding what it is you want, what your boundaries are or are not, all of the doubt and uncertainty, they believe this holding on to love is mutual. They have the hope and the faith that you are still holding on to the cup of love as well, just like you had done for the longest time, right? This is a balancing, a two-way street, the infinity symbol, the balancing energy. This is um, an intuitive knowing, understanding. You know, the Queen of Wands is a very intuitive, spiritual, um, almost like a medium. She's like the court card version of the High Priestess. Tuning in, very intuitive. Again, the overall message is what are we looking at in terms of intuition? They know in their heart and they're holding on to that hope and that faith and that trust that while they hold on to the love that you share that you're doing exactly the same too that's lovely that's really really sweet 
this person seems to be exactly where you were at like two, three, four, maybe six months ago. I crave your touch. Oh, okay. Wow. Right. Um, the Tower and the Three of Swords, Saturn in Libra. Mars, Aries, Cardinal, Fire. They are missing you. Goodness me, they are missing you. They are feeling the absence. They, they, like, I cannot express it enough. They, again, I, I just feel, you know, cast your mind back to when you were at your lowest point with this, where it was just effing agony like bring you to your knees agony and you'd reach that point where you just miss them and you longed for them and you yearned for them and you dreamed about them and it was all the focus was all on this physical person and the obsessive tendencies cast your mind back to that because that is where they are at keep up divine masculine bless because and i do think this is not a situation where you should be sat here thinking, ha, it's your turn. You get what you do. No, 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 no. If you experience that, you know how hard it is, right? You also, in retrospect, hindsight is twenty twenty. <laughs> no, you needed to go through that dark night of the soul yourself. It was necessary. And what came after that is where you're kind of moving into now. The peace, the serenity, the acceptance, the self-love, the focusing on yourself and your own soul journey, seeing the bigger picture of all of this, understanding that the being together in union with a 3D person is just one very small facet of the entire picture of what this journey means that's where they're heading towards but they are very much craving for you in terms of the physical 3d person and we we've been there haven't we we've been there so we understand this i have reconciliation in mind well if you're feeling the tower and this heartbreak energy here um in terms of the physical 3d person then you will be you know i want them back i want them back i want to be with them it becomes a bit obsessive and a bit they're kind of freaking out over it again we've been there haven't we yeah okay this is like fantasies of of happy families and practical dreams and how this is um kind of the bargaining phase of those stages um i think this is kind of denial slash bargaining well how can we make this work what can we do do not be surprised if this person does get in touch and their tone is a little desperate okay now do bear in mind this is intuitive so it could be that they're not necessarily overtly thinking all of this through stage by stage quite so methodically it could be that this is their intuition screaming all of this at them however they do or do not listen to that intuition is entirely down to a case by case person uh, basis you know your person are they the kind that listens to their intuition wholeheartedly are they the kind that ignores that wholeheartedly or are they somewhere in the middle erring one side or the other that's entirely for you to understand but you know the intuition i generally find it's like the truth it wills out um eventually for some it takes much longer however than others okay i'm going to move this into you now in the extended i'm going to look at the bottom of all of these decks as well that we've used here today and including the messages here as always but for now let us look at el diablo here ramsey bolton <laughs> if you've watched game of thrones you'd know that that was a perfect choice for the devil what are you negatively attached to okay we're in that stage i believe 
collectively where we're we're really doing the work now okay so for the devil to come up in terms of what it, what we need to start moving into releasing here it makes a lot of sense this is a waxing moon the energy is gaining momentum here yeah this is this we're kind of cooking on gas here as far as your soul journey goes i believe that i believe we're we're making big leaps and bounds in terms of progress because we've kind of come through quite a dark phase a phase of blockages and delays and now we're kind of we've hit the ground running with this so what are you negatively attached to and in turn that will of course give us an idea of what it is you should be working towards releasing right now i like this it's really really constructive for you in terms of you know doing something tangible for your journey so let us explore what are we negatively attached to here the magician well we're making we're doing it okay we're doing it ourselves aren't we okay so this is something we're manifesting probably consciously honestly i will say right at this point you kind of already know what you need to be releasing okay you know you know you know what you're doing you you you're the magician this is conscious manifestation you know you know what you're focusing on you know what you're being pulled towards okay let's explore further the king of swords oh okay plot twist have you gone too cold have you put all of your emotions into a box locked them up put them in a safe locked the safe and then dropped the safe into the bottom of the ocean and sailed away are you cold it's a defense mechanism isn't it sometimes it feels like it's really the only feasible option this could also tap into the energy of expectations having incredibly high standards regarding the way other people the, regarding the way you expect other people to treat you that's not a bad thing but it also is potentially setting you up for disappointment because a lot of people suck honestly they really do <laughs> you know since we've been in quarantine I, I obviously don't leave the house as much um the area i'm still in even though england is not technically in uh, full-blown lockdown anymore i'm on tier three which is a it is essentially still full-blown lockdown really um so I only leave the house when I really, really have to. And on the odd occasion I do leave the house, I usually make a mental note to myself. Ugh, too people-y. Zero stars. Would not recommend. You know, I'm becoming a, a reclusive here. That's kind of where you're at. I think you're just too people-y. Too people-y. No thanks. Well, let's explore further. The King of Cups. Um, could you be more masculine? Your person is doing the divine feminine thing they are feminine energy and you are masculine energy it's flipped it's completely flipped you're the one pulling away you're the one that's not coming to them you're the one that's done the ghosting if this has not happened it's about to it's about to okay you're moving into that very controlled masculine mature logical putting all your emotions to one side kind of thing you, you the whole narrative is being flipped your person very much about to become the chaser and you about to become the runner for some of you that might just necessarily be part of the journey for others that is something you can absolutely bear in mind and think do you know what do i want to just keep doing this if i'm chasing and then they're running and then we just do a straight flip nothing's ever going to be achieved okay let's get some more i will get some advice for you on this as well the star here so that right you're out of reach you're out of touch this person cannot get to you you have made sure of it they cannot reach you emotionally physically spiritually not because they're not trying but because you've ensured it 
okay you've pulled back on every level you are like some wistful imagined fantasy star blinking in the sky to them that they have no hope of being able to get to and you have done that on purpose the cards here preceded by the devil would suggest that is that attachment to control is something you might want to consider releasing to an extent let me get some clarifiers and some advice and guidance for you and then i'll hop on over to the extended over on patreon and uh we'll just dig into this even deeper because this this flip is fascinating i told you i could feel it didn't i in that little intro if you did watch if you did listen um that shift i feel it i feel it coming in massively six of cups well the soulmate energy is still very strong it's still there you're not denying that this person is a soulmate queen of pentacles yeah okay embrace a little bit of it's a balance isn't it and you're swinging between yin and yang your person's doing exactly the same and you've basically crossed over each other that's what's going on okay you were very feminine and present and now you have swung into this masculine energy they have done the exact reverse and the advice here is remember what this is remember what this person means to you try and balance it out so it's not an extreme you're not either completely feminine or completely masculine can we add a little bit of both why not both right it's a balancing act and it's something that we learn and it's part of the journey um but the advice here is is be a little bit more sensitive perhaps um i understand the coldness i absolutely do but just remember that there is something greater at work here a little bit of compassion would go a long way here the emperor <laughs> oh will you stop it with this masculine energy <laughs> masculine energy in its light side is amazing true masculine energy you know assertive ambitious strong wise protective but it can, in its detriment it can be aggressive impatient controlling be aware I, I i can see you you're right you're doing it okay you, you're sitting in masculine energy whether you're male or female okay so let's just accept that rather than pushing against it and saying maybe you should do this maybe okay so make sure if you're there if you're here that you're doing it in the right way okay so make a list of masculine traits that are positive and negative and be very mindful of staying in the positive for your own good for the good of this journey that you're on for your peace of mind um this is a period where you can be getting things done for yourself for your friends for your family you're very very strong very very powerful i mean you are the king of swords you are the king of cups you are the emperor you are the magician my goodness me get it into its light side and do not slip into those detrimental traits that some people like to refer to as toxic masculinity okay women can explain can display those traits just as much as men can and i'm not talking about the divisive politics of it i'm talking about the spiritual aspect of it um yes a balance here i do feel is necessary but actually the cards aren't really telling you to change it honestly I think it's more be conscious of it be conscious that this is the energy you're sitting in so you can be in control in the way this masculine energy demands and implies that you you are that's wow i mean i knew i felt a shift but goodness me you go guys i am so proud of you for anybody that's come this far clearly you're resonating with what what's been 
read today and just wow that it's all changed we flipped um maybe the divine masculines will start watching these readings now <laughs> who knows i will see some of you over on patreon and i will very much forward to look for look forward to hearing from you in the comments your feedback what it is you would like enjoy your sunday have a wonderful week and i'll be back next week take care